What's up, everybody? I hope you are well out there. And I hope my Jared tones are well, too. So I am Jaren. I am a voice teacher, speech trainer, and the founder and owner of this marvelous studio, the Jaren M. Luger Studio. I don't got nothing to say. I literally have no words for what this video is about to mean to me. I love, love these characters, these women, these songs. Ah, I, 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 that's all I got. <laughs> That's all I got. So as I always say, I'm gonna start and stop a lot while this video is happening. So if you like starting and stopping and talking about things like that, then go to another video or click the link below where you can watch the videos in their entirety without me saying a word. But if you mind stopping and starting and talking about things as they happen in the moment, then you found the right channel, so stick around. And this may be like a longer video just because I'm gonna do all of the songs in one big setting versus trying to separate them. I'm gonna do all of their good songs in one big video. So I'm excited to dive into this wonderful singing. These women are iconic. These characters are iconic. You can't tell me otherwise. These characters helped mold me to the singer I am today. Watching them sing on this movie when I was little, even then I was like, wow. It's opened up my mind and my voice has so many other possibilities, even as a seven, eight year old little boy. You know what I'm saying? So I am so excited to get into this, y'all. So y'all, let's get right into it. Here is a voice analysis of all of the songs from The Muses from Disney's Hercules. But what is the measure of a true hero? That is what our story Will is about. you listen to him? He's making this story sound like some Greek tragedy. Lighten up, dude. We'll take it from here, darling. You go, girl. We are the muses, goddesses of the arts, and proclaimers of heroes. I just love that. We are the muses. How she takes her time and kind of really sings that line, so to speak. We are the muses, goddesses of the arts, and proclaimers of heroes. So she's really using a lot of inflection in her voice, you know, when she does this. Ooh, I'm so excited. Okay, I'm gonna stop. Here we go. Heroes. Heroes like Hercules. Honey, you mean Hercules. Woohoo, I'd like to make some sweet music Our for this. story actually begins long before Hercules, many eons ago. Oh, yeah! Back when the world was new, Whoa. the planet Earth was down on its luck, and everywhere gigantic brutes called Titans ran amok. She is so articulate. Back when the world was new, the planet Earth was down on its luck. You hear every K, every T, and everywhere gigantic brutes called Titans ran amok. You hear every single phone name in the whole line. I love that. It's so precise. So precise. It was a nasty place. There was a mess wherever you stepped. Where chaos reigned and earthquakes and volcanoes never slept. Woo! Stand up, friend. And then a volcano came to He hurled his thumbs in the boat. He said, lock those suckers in a boat. So he's using a lot of growls here, too. He hurled his thunderbolt. Lock those suckers in a vault. So they're really using those growls to really give us some vocal textures pertaining to gospel music. Though they're singing about Greek mythology, this is based in gospel music in terms of, you know, the delivery and the writing they're in, right? So these are gospel sounds talking about Greek mythology, you know? Love, and that's a gospel truth. That truth was who, and that's a gospel truth. The guy was too tight, A to just relax. They really went for it there. They just really went for it, and ah, they opened their mouths. They ah, kind of got body in the sound. Relax, you know. And even in the harmony, you still heard a lot of brightness, a lot of forwardness in the sound, you know. And that's the world's first dish. Yeah, baby. Sustain the globe while still. Had a little Cassandra right there. Oh, so honey, it may seem impossible. Instead of impossible, impossible. So it took out a syllable, so to speak. So honey, it may seem impossible. That's the gospel truth. Yeah. That 
minor growl with a huh huh in there. the spontaneity of how they're singing. I know this was just magical in the studio and they were recording this. How they just kind of just come out the gate with this kind of stuff. And I'm sure there were moments that they recorded they just left up to the ladies singing this stuff, you know? I really feel like they just said, just sing. We'll just clip record, y'all just sing this stuff. This is kind of the essence of gospel. The spontaneity, the creativity, the in the moment, the attitude, the vocal colorings, all these things are very gospel in nature. And I think that's why a lot of people enjoy gospel so much because gospel is such a on the spot in your face type of music you know a lot of times we don't write stuff down many times about 90% of the times what we sing is not written down it's traditionally given to us orally we learn it you know in a car rehearsal we learn it listening to other people we learn it by being made to do it we learn it that way we don't really sit down and write sheets we don't really sit down and look the music for hymns you know most of the hymns that I learned when I was little I wasn't reading the music I was listening to what they were saying and then I was then regurgitating it as I was able to do it match the pitch, match the syllables up with the notes, and then I just learned hymns that way. I didn't read music at age five when I'm singing Jesus Loves Me. I wasn't reading no hymns singing Tis So Sweet. You know, like, I wasn't reading no notes with that. And a lot of times people remake hymns and remake these old songs from church. And so a lot of times we don't know it, but we're singing a hymn that was redone, you know, you know, 100 years later or whatever the case may be. You know, there are plenty of renditions of hymns that I love that I didn't know were hymns when I learned it, but then I looked at the lyrics and I was like, oh, this is a hymn. Oh, this is a old song. They redid it. So again, the spontaneity and the sporadicness of gospel music, I think that it's just such a moving component that people just enjoy and love to be a part of, you know? And for many of us, it comes naturally. We just do it. We were immersed in that environment, so we were kind of forced to do it, you know? It just kind of just came naturally for us. And I love the naturalness that they use in the gospel truths, you know, according to the muses, right? I love the spontaneity and just the freedom that these singers have have and the control like all these ranges and all these harmonies and how they just kind of dig into this stuff so good <laughs> There's one God you don't want to get steamed up. It's Hades. Cause he had an evil plan. He ran the underworld, but thought the dead were dull and uncool. He was as mean as he was ruthless, and that's the gospel truth. He ran the underworld, so everything is more open, kind of darker. He ran the underworld, and it was more sly. He said, if he ran the underworld, mm -mm. he ran the underworld, but thought the dead were dull and uncouth. You can hear every consonant. He was as mean as he was ruthless. Everything is punched, and that's the gospel truth. Yeah, you can really hear all of these consonants being pushed. They're almost giving a lot more emphasis and energy to the consonants in the fricative nature or in the, you know, in the friction that these consonants bring to our articulatory production, right? And I think a part of the reason of that is because these gospel truths, these little interludes carry the story. They carry the story from part A to part B, part B to part C, part C to part D. You know, these are essential components of the story that kind of cover so many things in them four verses, in them four lines, you know? So I really like how they're really making sure we hear the words and hearing every little phoneme, every consonant, but still giving us the gospel feel. He had a plan to shake things up. He had a plan to shake things up. You see that punch? Shake things up. Yeah, with that vibrato. Sing, Roz. And then She really had that ooh on the you truth, truth, and she's really pressing in there with that slide on the gospel. Yeah, that vibrato. <laughs> ooh, I just love me some good churchy singing. Gospel. 
in that gospel. It wasn't gospel. Gospel. Gospel truth. You know, I'm going to be honest. I would love to be amused. I don't got to be on stage. Can I just sing back up off stage? Please, somebody let me be amused somewhere. I just want to sing back up. You know, I don't got to be on the stage. I don't got to. No, y'all can have that. Just let me sing back up off stage on the mic. Like, let me just sing stuff. Let me just, I just, I, this, I just, I feel like I can do this stuff so well. Give me a chance. I can do this, man. <laughs> it was tragic. Zeus led all the gods on a frantic search. But by the time they found the baby, it was too late. Young Herc was mortal now. But since he did not drink the last drop. This almost sounds like a funeral. Young Herc was mortal. Mm -hmm. Almost like they're at the church mourning, right? They're mourning that Hercules is now a human or, you know, mostly human. Oh. That groan, that sigh. Mm -hmm. And even the lead, Young Herc was mortal now. There's a heaviness. <gasps> young Herc was mortal now. It reminds you like a like a small storefront church funeral or something, you know, where it's just that, oh, that heaviness. Oh. He still retained his godlike strength, so thank his lucky star. Tell him, girl. Star. She almost kind of migrated to that R color slowly. Said a star. Mm -mm, she do that star, and it was almost like a soft R. Star, star, not star. Star. But Zeus and Hera wept because their son could never come home. That vibrato, just how they did that. And then the lead, but Zeus in heaven wept. Had that vibrato right there on her lead too. In that more longer vowel position. Heaven wept. Yeah. They'd have to watch their precious baby grow up from afar. Though Hades hard into play. kept ooh and that vowel right there and even how they did the individual vocal lines on the ooh the gospel truth how they kind of ended that harmony there it's just so good i just know that they had a ball in that studio recording this stuff and you can hear the heaviness even in the thick thicker fold chest voice sound though head is hard but blood. you can kind of hear that longness was hacked before her car as first tooth. Then in the tooth kind of went more heady, thin fold, if you will. Oh, yeah. Last my soul. Kirk was on a road. Person of the week in every Greek opinion post. Person of the week in every Greek opinion Right there, that growl is there. And you hear a lot of da 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 He's a hero. Ah, to open up that old thing more like a howl. I'm like a growl. He's a hero. A growl in the sense of the shape, not growl, but more in the sense of ah, you know, ah. He's a hero. Or like a bite in the sound, if you will. He was a kid with his act out right. Zero the hero. No time flies. Zero the hero. Just like that. So they really kind of made it more spread. 
shots with the slides and the little bends, yeah. And they slapped his face on every face. On every vase. <laughs> vase! <laughs> She's like, uh-uh, it's vase, not vase. But you see how much they use talking in their singing to really emote the character and really kind of bring life to these characters? You know, they really, again, carry the story. They essentially do carry the story because they're the narrator, so to speak. So they really are carrying the story and how they emote and how they sing. You know, it's all purposeful. <laughs> Yeah, that little walk down. How they do the rounds is just so good. Just real quick stuff. There he goes again. They had to bend again. It had a little bit more of like a tongue right there. There he goes again. All those peas and it's perfect package pack to pay a pretty pecs. That plus of pea and it's perfect package pack to pay a pretty pecs. That's a tongue twister. Not gladiator. Gladiator. Yeah, you hear that R is out. Who puts the gladi gladiator? Right? Down needs a great theater. Great theater. Again, great theater. Gladiator. Yeah, that R is gone. Hercules, 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 Hercules. You see how I'm doing the Hercules, Hercules. And it's almost a Hercules, 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 Hercules. That's Ray Gospel, duh. And you hear them starting to ad lib with them runs and stuff just going over the place. That's not written down. That's not written down. They said sing. I guarantee these runs aren't written down. They just said ad lib. But that's what we do. So they, they got it in the bag. They got it in the bag, okay? <laughs> Hercules, bless with a slide. Hercules, bless my soul. Herc is on a roll. They throwing it out. Instead of bless my soul, Herc is on a roll. Uh-uh. Bless my soul, Herc is on a roll. Yeah, so they're throwing the stuff out there, omitting certain consonants and vowels, things like that, to make it more conducive to gospel with the speed and everything. Yeah, you want that. Bless my soul, her is on a roll. You don't say, bless my soul, her is on a roll. Uh, no. Bless my soul, her is on a roll. Yeah, that's what you want. Mm-hmm. Judgment. I guess I've already won that. Won that. She almost has like an underlining nasality to her voice. If there's a prize for rotten judgment, I guess I've already won that. And she's a lot of aspirate slides. Won that. Prize for rotten judgment. Yeah, a lot of like nasal slides, if you will. Nasal aspirate slides in her sound. Yeah, that's cool. No man is worth the aggravation That's ancient history Been there, done that Who'd you think you're kidding? He's the earth and heaven to you Try to keep it hidden Honey, we can see right oh, through you yeah. Girl, you can't conceive it We know how you feel it Who you're thinking of Did you see how 
how bright they were. Who you think you're kidding? He's the earth and heaven till you try to keep it hidden. You can hear a lot of he's the heaven till you try to keep it hidden. Honey, we can see right through you. And the articulation is very percussive. Honey, we can see right through you. Girl, you can't conceal it. We know how. And it's here. We know how you're feeling. Who you thinking of? You see that smile? Thinking of. Yes, yeah, not thinking of. Thinking of. So it's almost like a lift, a loftiness to the brightness that the muses are doing here. Oh, no chance. No way. I won't say you don't know. Yes, who you saw. Why deny it? Uh oh. Uh oh. I love that. Why deny it? Uh oh. Mm, I love that part. <laughs> it's uh oh, not uh oh. Uh oh. That smile, that brightness. Uh -oh. Uh oh, uh oh. And then they kind of come down on the uh oh, obviously because it's the vowels, uh oh, but uh oh. They kind of do like three or four different moves. Uh oh, uh oh. You see what I'm saying? Uh oh. Instead of uh oh, uh oh. Yeah. It's still cliche. It feels so good when you start out My head is screaming, get a grip, The vowel change uh, It didn't stay the same, it changed It got brighter, got more smiley uh, Unless you're dying to cry your heart out deny it who you are and how you're feeling and not feeling feeling baby we're not buying and you see that brightness huh we saw you hit the ceiling face it like a grown up and it really got brighter and bitier as they went up to the inverted chord if you will that you got 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 it bad they're really keeping everything that bright bitey masky sound very musical theater but still very gospel too oh, no chance no way I won't say it, no, no. Give up, give in. Check the green, you're in love. This scene won't play. I won't say I'm in love. Get to it, let's bring our lips. You're in love. You lay on face. I won't say it. Shame on face. Get off my case. I won't say it. Get off my case, growl. I won't say it. She be singing, Meg be singing, okay? Okay, you're in love. I love how they change the vowels within words cohesively as a unit. You're in love. You're in love. Instead of you're in love. You're in love. It's almost like they dropped the jaw a little bit and it kind of rounded the lips. You're in love. That little run right there is so good. Sing, Meg, okay? At least out loud, I won't say I'm in love. Get it, ladies. Yeah. A shout out from the mountain tops. It's a time for pulling out the stops. A star is born. Honey, it is with a mind. That kid can see it through the famous star. how they sound on unison a star is mine it's like all their voices just lock in and you can hear five different voices but they still sound like one big unit you know and how they interchange on the lead and how they're all using that vibrato and getting that bright forward sound they all go for it each and every time they just don't hold nothing back and i love that the hero who can please the crowd a star is mine you a 
Hawkeye Hero 2. It was almost like a thick fold, pure ooh. For making you a hero too. Something like that. Like they almost kind of grinded through that ooh. I love that sound though. Yeah. <laughs> They just throwing it up there. That's just so good to me. Like a beacon in the cold dark night, a star is born. Told you everything would turn out right. Star is born. Just when everything was all at sea, the boy made history. The bottom line, he sure can shine. He was as bad as popcorn. He knew how to. He had a clue. And for the record, this is high. <laughs> this is high. They up there. This is high. They ain't handling like it's nothing. Like, this is up there. Like a Hebrew who can please a crowd. I can't do it like they do it. But they almost have more of a longer vowel shape. Please a crowd. Please a crowd. Almost a little classical in sound. Kind of just how they colored their voice. Please a crowd. You know, down there. Yeah. Making you with that vibrato, a hero too. She take a sweet time in that. I love that. Those oohs, they're really being true to those oohs. It's not making you hero too. No, making you hero too. Yeah, you see how pure those ooh vowels are right there. so much fun doing this and I hope y'all did too. If you enjoyed this analysis, click subscribe down below and click the alert button next to it so you know when the next video is posted. And give this video a thumbs up so we can get out to more people. Please. <laughs> and as I will always, always, always say to y'all, be vocally bold, creative, and aware, but most of all, vocally you. I love you and I'll see you soon.